Good morning, you guys. Tracy here. It is October 3rd, 2015, Saturday morning, 11 a.m. here in Wyoming. Um, this is take two because I was doing a video and a vlog and I was about 10 minutes into it and I just was so kind of off in La La Land and I'm like, y'all aren't going to want to watch this crap, so I'm redoing it. Um, it is 50 degrees here. Uh, it will only be up to 60, and it will be down to 41. It is overcast and cloudy, but a beautiful fall day still. Um, the sun is starting to peek through some. No wind at all. We had a lovely rainstorm last night. The leaves are really starting to turn and fall, and it's just, it's a beautiful fall day. Um... I didn't sleep real hot last night, but I um, uh, am reducing uh, the amount of even over-the-counter sleep meds that I take because I know i got to get off them. So um, uh, each time I take another step down, I don't sleep as well for a few days. So, excuse me, that's to be expected. Oh, <laughs> I can sleep now, huh? I almost got up. At 4 o'clock in the morning because I couldn't sleep and, and clean my kitchen, but I didn't want to wake my husband, so, you know. Uh, you know, but I thought, well, I'm going to wait now. I can go clean my kitchen. But, like I said, I didn't want to disturb him or anything, so I didn't. Um, making out my list. I don't have much of a list for Sam Club. I'm just getting some of that imitation crab meat, a big roll of the hamburger, their hamburger, ground hamburger, in a huge roll. No, I think it's about $35, but it's a huge roll. It's like a 10, 12 pound roll. And it's 90% um, lean, and it is good hamburger. So, now you get that big package of string. Cheese, maybe some more lunch meat. Depend. Um, that'd be a good price. Uh, some fresh stuff. I gotta really think about that because I'm the main one that eats the fresh stuff, though. So, am I eating? Will change. I probably just need to get some potatoes, some onions, probably some more green pepper, and mushroom, and tomatoes. Um, and. Uh, a thing of the pre-made protein drinks, you know, the ready-made, um, a bag of cat food, big bag of dog food, um, and then I need to go to Dollar Tree, uh, and we're going to do this tonight. I need to get some more gallon bags, some more bar soap. I want to get some small containers. Now, one of the things, though, is I'm not going to buy a whole lot of containers because... You know all your empty pill bottles, your prescription pill bottle? You soak those and the label comes off. You clean them really well. They make great containers for, um, uh, basically if you do have protein powder you're taking with you, then you go and you buy these labels, or you can use masking tape. But you buy these labels, or you can use a Sharpie if you know you're going to use that container over and over again. But you, um... The labels are at Dollar Tree. There's like 50, 50 of them in a package. And they make great, you know, to put a label on, on something and say this is a scoop of Gen Pro. You know. Another tip I wanted to share with you guys is, you know what? Let me think my... Okay, let me back up. I'll go back to the containers in a minute. I am going to look at containers to see. Uh, I need to get some more of that sugar-free vanilla syrup they sell there at Dollar Tree. Um, and I want to get some of the foil sheets that I see, like Tracy B and, and Leanne Live and other people buy. Uh, more of the labels. I need to get some more of the Clorox cleanup type cleaner. Some white vinegar and teriyaki mix. Okay, now back to my container thing about you could take pill bottles, you know, whatever size. And it depends on what kind of protein powder you're using. Now, if you're using the Gen Pro, of course, you can use a smaller pill bottle. 
Soak those labels off. Clean that pill bottle up real well. You know, you like I said, you can either put a label on there, or you can use masking tape and write on there, or if you know you're going to use that over and over again, write with a Sharpie. You can put, like, this is a scoop of Genco. It's a scoop of whatever, you know, whey protein you're using. My other thought was, instead of wasting money buying the small bottles of, like, say, a leave or Tylenol or whatever to keep in your vehicle, keep in your purse, or if you do have prescription medication, you do need to carry a few with you, but you know that the law is that it must be in a labeled container. Now, if you really look at that, it's got to be labeled. Okay, now, if you have an old prescription bottle, you could, that is the same, you can use that and put a few of your pills in there. So think about that next time. Say, say maybe you need, uh, maybe you are on some kind of pain, pain uh, pill. You know, if you're getting a refill, even keep your old bottle to put just a few of your tablets if you think like you're traveling with, with and you need to take a few, you know, or whatever, <clears throat> so you don't get in trouble with the police, you know. But you also can label, you know. Ow! Bitch, stop that! <sighs> he bit me hard, that hurt. This cat, I love this cat, but he's driving me nuts. He's not letting me, he's part of the reason I'm not sleeping at night. It, he just thinks it's party time. I, I almost kicked him out of my room last night and shut the door because it's just like, stop. You know? But that hurt. You know, they get you on that fatty part of your, the back of your arm. <sighs> I had somebody instant thing of pain and kind of pisses you off. <laughs> You know. But anyway, what I was saying was, is you can take those small pill bottles, too, once that you take the label off and clean them. You clearly mark them. Tylenol. Leave. You know. You know. And, and so you can buy the bigger bottles, which are cheaper, but then make your own. You know. Um. What else? I like to use the empty pill bottles, too, to make a small emergency kit with, like, you know, a um, uh, few band-aids, you know, stuff like that. I mean, you know, depending on the pill bottle and the size of it, if it's, if it's bigger and longer, you can, it's, it makes a nice one for you ladies that are still having your cycle to, to put some tampons in. You know, or menstrual cups, or you know, thin pads. I mean, and that way it doesn't rattle around in your purse and get all gross and young and gunky or fall out in an inappropriate time when you're embarrassed. And so, anyway, that's my thoughts on on saving money and not, uh, you know, not keeping to put all this in our landfills. <clears throat> um. Yesterday I just worked on, on this uh, Afghan um, for Gettemar or Mr. Cross's boss. He's got a website named that. Mr. Cross's boss, type that in. Uh, and he does music videos of his original music and stuff. And go check him out. He's a very talented young man. But this is in coat colors. It's a stadium blanket. Uh... And so, and then I went up into the blue, and then there's some of the gray that they have on the, you know, in between, and then going back in the blue and white. So, anyway, <clears throat> got that going. Um, probably won't do too much on it today. If you bite me again, we're going to have a serious discussion. Stop now, because that does hurt. Um, quit for a little bit. He's obsessed. Um, glad he loves me, but damn. Um, I need a clean house. Like I said, I treat my, my, uh, my, uh, business as a job, so. 
you know, come Saturday, I'm doing what everybody else is doing this work full time with the clean house. And, um, so I'm doing that. I got all my yarn ordered, uh, for hopefully upcoming orders. Uh, and I do have, I have an order that, uh, for another shawl, uh, uh, that Mary ordered. And it's a solid black webbed fringed shawl. I found this, and she wanted it in black, and I found it beautiful, black, but it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, which will be very lovely, uh, that, that I wanted to, uh, a little bit nicer and softer of a yarn, which I, is what I wanted to make hers out of, so, got that, um, what else, hmm, that's the only order I have besides the Afghan. Um, uh, like I said, I, I know everybody's just really, really, really broke. We'll be some broke folk, but that's okay. Could we be rich in love? Um, dealership still dead. So, I'm not sure what will happen there. Um, but... It'll all work out. You know? I'll work out. So, what else? Um, like I said, it doesn't matter the route that you take to get to your end result. As long as you get there, you will have some bumps and bruises, some detours, and possibly some shortcuts. As long as we get there. Um, I tell my husband we just need to, you know, have me have this surgery and so I can uh, start dropping some weight and become a lot healthier and stuff and need be then I guess I, uh, you know if my business still isn't really doing anything I may have to go and get a, a full time job really don't want to get one in this area there really isn't anything but I will I had before um <clears throat> Probably would wait till we move though, because like I said, we're one uh, one car family, and we don't live in the city, so yeah, that would be really difficult to uh, do. I want to have things set up a little differently anyway. Um, what else going on? Um. That's about all I got going on. Um, I gotta look. I get lost. Um, like I said, yeah, I'm clean house. We're going to Sam's Club and Dollar Tree tonight. So we don't have to go tomorrow. Because tomorrow is my husband's day off. I know he's got some stuff he wants to do outside. I wouldn't have him get down all the boxes and stuff up in the rafters. So I can go through them. Uh, so I want to decorate for Halloween tomorrow. And, uh, decide what I'm keeping, what I'm not. Hmm. That kind of stuff. Uh, dinner tonight, we're just having leftover, uh, steak that I had last, that we cooked up last night. You know, and then we'll have some kind of a, uh, of a uh, uh, carb and uh, some kind of we might have a salad or something I'm not sure um it'll be a later dinner because we are going to going shopping so um like I said I did get my yarn ordered also bought some from a lady that lives just about kind of miles from me uh, off of eBay because the shipping was a lot cheaper. Shared with my friend Renee. Her name on here is Trailer Park Trish. She does some beautiful crocheted work. But even though I do the looming and some limited crocheting, she really does some elegant, and this is how she makes her entire living. Um, so if you ever need. If you ever have something you want to have done, yeah, 
yes, of course, contact me through Facebook. And if I can't do it, I'll refer you to what her real name is and stuff. But if I can't do it, she can. And she does some beautiful work. But I shared with her the Hershner's uh, website. And I'll tell you guys, if you go on there and and you do the the yarn by the bag under the yarn. And, and they've got some really great prices. Uh, and then I shared with her, because she's a really near and dear friend of mine, some coupon codes. Now, if, one other thing that I wanted to show you guys is, uh, I'll show you on my phone. It is a um, app you can get through your phone, which is really a great app. It's called Retail Me Not. Um... And this is, this is what it looks like. You just look on your app. You look on your app search and retail me not. And then you can even type in, like they say you're going to go to Bath and Body Works. Or, okay, say you're going to go to Hobby Lobby. You want, and you're in a hurry. And you want, um... Their coupon. You type in Hobby Lobby, it brings up the coupon. Bam, right there. Any other place, you're going out to a restaurant to eat, Pizza Hut, wherever. You, I mean, wherever you're going to shop, you just type in. I do this all the time when I'm, if I'm buying something um, like yarn or uh, Hobby Lobby or um, if we're going to go out to eat. A specific place. If you bite me again, we're going to have words. Um, and it brings up coupon codes. And I typed those in and it works. It's like my Hershner's order and I shared the uh, uh, links with Renee. Got us a free uh, $50 tote, yarn tote. And, and um, then also gave us a flat shipping of four ninety five, and you know, so that app retail me not works great. I've been using it for a couple years now, and it really saves you some money. I wasn't that thrilled with the Ibotta. I gotta be honest. Only used a couple of times. Not using it now. I thought it was more of a pain in the ass, frankly, than it was worth. I know a lot of people like it, and if you have a lot of friends and you can build a list and yada, 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 great. I don't really have, I might look like I do, but really, I don't really have any, a lot of close friends. I have just a few. So, <clears throat> I like to retail me not. Um, but yeah, I got all my yarn ordered, got all my protein powders ordered that are coming in. Um... Uh, one another reason we need to be home tomorrow is uh, the uh, annual companions who uh, took Max's body and stuff, and and he'd been done since Monday. Um, but they need to come out here and bring his um, ashes. They always put him in a nice decorative tin that is sealed and shrunk and and. You know, and shrink wrap and stuff. <clears throat> and we need to pay them. It was ninety dollars to have him cremated, which can't beat that price. For them to come out here and pick him up, they were here. They even helped while he was being put to sleep. And I mean, you know, they put your animal on a stretcher and 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 very gentle and stuff. But um, it was if they weighed. 45 pounds or less, it was 90 pounds. And if they were over 45 pounds, up to, I don't know, probably 100 or whatever, it was 120. Um, and which is really great prices. And I knew he had lost some weight. And, yeah, he had, he had lost some more weight. So um, he was under 45 but anyway, we need to be home for that. I have some very inappropriate names I made that would be good for crematoriums. Um, uh, 
But I don't want to offend anybody who just lost family member or pet, you know, because it may a little warped sense of humor. So, you know, I may put those. I'll put those on my Facebook. So if you're friends with me on Facebook, watch for the post, and I'll I'll post those those funny little catchy names I thought would be good for crematorium business. But I don't want to offend anybody here, you know. Um, what else? That's all I got going on, really, guys. Uh, like I said, just cleaning house, doing the rest of the shopping. Yes, I'm, I'm stressed. I think you can tell. I'm kind of stressed about the money situation. Like I said, sales are not. Nobody buying anything anywhere. We're all just broke, broke, broke. But that's just life. Um, it'll all work out. It always does. Um. We get off here though, and uh, do some cleaning, all that kind of stuff. And I hope you guys all have a great weekend. What are your weekend plans? Anything fun? Um, I think it's kind of low key right now, and um. Uh, that's all I really got going on. I, I'm still trying to wake up a little bit. Uh, remember, I think you guys are awesome. And I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye.